All right, so this is a long video, so we're gonna go ahead and do this. This is top mo top mojos, top ten mojos. I forgot their channel name. Uh, subscribe to their channel. They do really cool top tens. This one is about top ten Marvel TV shows. Now, one that better be in here. My favorite Marvel TV show. Um, it's really hard to see. They've made a lot of really great ones. I remember enjoying. Spider-Man TAS or the animated series when I was a kid, but I really have always loved the original 90s X-Men the animated series. It was always one of my favorites. X-Men, uh, Wolverine the X-Men was really good too, which I watched later on when I was a kid. So let's get on with this reaction. Welcome to Jurassic Room if I didn't already say it, sorry. That's a really good one. List, we're looking at all the television series that have stemmed from the pages of Marvel Comics and are ranking them based on their popularity, critical reception, and Luke overall Ring impact on Yeah, I used culture. to watch it all the time when I was a kid. Do you have any children? No. I was after I Halloween one time, Luke Ring Because I would have to kill them too. Number 10, Wolverine and the X-Men. Okay, yeah, I used to love this when I was a kid. As the X-Men's fourth animated television adaptation, this incarnation added an interesting distinction by placing everyone's favorite yellow spandex-wearing superhero at center stage. Wolverine vs. Hulk episode was the best. So they got to the Wendigo. It was a sequel to Hulk vs. Wolverine, which I have that DVD. It was so cool. There it is. The show boldly begins with an explosion that results in the disappearance of the team's father figure and leader. It sucks it ended so shortly because they spoiled the uh, teased ap an apocalypse uh, future that they could have prevented. And it could have been so cool. This unexpected um, event causes the X Men to disband, only to reunite. X Men Evolution was really cool too. And then Nick Fury was in that episode. X Men Evolution is a really cool one. I used to watch. Wolverine and the X Men only lasted one season. Yeah. Sucks. Number nine, Agents of Shield. I didn't really watch a whole lot of Agents of Shield. I only just saw a little After bit of the Gotham, too. Of the Avengers, Disney execs scrambled back to the studio for television tie-ins to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I saw... Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D., Punisher, Jessica Jones, Daredevil. Centered on the titular agents Agent Carter. led by the, spoiler alert, thought to be dead Agent Coulson. This breakthrough sci-fi slash superhero drama takes just a few steps back from the explosions and adrenaline rushing visuals to get more intimate with characters. Rogers even spent a few weeks here after he defrosted. Okay, but who's it supposed to keep safe? The people with powers or everyone else? Both. Bringing in the big hitter organizations from all of Marvel, including the sinister Hydra and the Inhumans. The show has become a blockbuster hit for the small screen. While we tip our hats to the Atomic Age Agent Carter, the win goes to S.H.I.E.L.D. for its stronger action, cinematic direction, and balanced team-based dynamic. I could have talked to him in if you didn't put an unsolicited tracker under his skin. If you didn't call to alert him, then Why wasn't I told? I thought you were a little close to the situation. Number eight, Spider-Man and his amazing friends. I haven't seen this in ages, man. I used to watch this every morning before I went to school. Firestar and Ice Man. Than a web slinging superhero is a web slinging superhero teamed with a generator of ice and a heroin manipulator of fire. He used to watch this all the time as a kid. Forming the Spider Friends, this cartoon saw Spider Man and the X Men's Ice Man, as well as newcomer Firestar, join forces after meeting his classmates in the fictitious Empire State University. Against Spider Man and his friends, friend the alloy. I remember that one, yeah. Alongside the Hulk's first animated series, the 
The show's featured narration by none other than the man himself, Stan Lee. Stan Lee. Lightwave and her unknown master have different plans for the mighty satellite and for the spider friends as well. Airing for three seasons, Spider-Man and his amazing friends featured a wide variety of familiar Marvel storylines, heroes, and even original villains created specifically for the show, making it one of Marvel's finest earlier endeavors for television. This is a robbery! Everybody freeze or you get jammed by! But yeah, so cheesy. Number seven, The Incredible Hulk. Yeah. All right, what happens if we tap into this hidden strength? What happens? Oh, no! Bill Bixby and Liv Ferrigno. I don't know. Starring Bill Bixby as Dr. Banner and Lou Ferrigno in Green Beast Mode, this marked the first and to date the only form of media where two separate actors mm -hmm. portray the Hulk. Dr. Banner Not himself Not exactly. Lou Ferrigno voiced the Hulk in Avengers. Of desperation, isolation, and, and Mark Ruffalo is the, the body, five technically. Seasons on CBS before being picked up by NBC for a film trilogy serving as the show's final acts. Don't make me angry. You wouldn't mm -hmm. like me when I'm angry. Keeping its pulse vital through syndicated runs on numerous networks, this adaptation may be the oldest live-action Marvel show on our list, but it remains a smashing classic to this day. Mm -hmm. You should watch this too. As one of two television shows that served as Marvel's initial endeavors into storytelling media outside comics, this was the show that helped launch Spider Man and his arch enemies to their present day prominence and glory. Spider Man 2, best Spider Man ever. Initially airing on ABC, the show's limited lifespan was due to escalating budget problems forcing production to recycle footage and scrap narratives I always noticed this when I was a kid I still need to uh, see Civil War I think we can go see at the end of the month and go see X-Men Apocalypse as well I can't wait also let's not forget the cheesy but classic theme song that has since become as synonymous with Spidey as his suit Yeah, this is so dope when I was a kid. Yeah, yeah, more Spider-Man. But what can we say? He's a great character. They did? Considered one of the best awesome animated shows. shows of its time, this series breathed new life into Spidey for every superhero aficionado and or child Hold of on. the 90s. Yes, Secret Wars episode was the best two episodes, I think it was two, of the series. I've got the Secret Wars, a Secret Wars comic in my room. It's over there. I can go get that real quick. Let me see if I still have it around. Yeah, I just want to do this real quick. Yeah, this is my Secret Wars comic book. I got it with a toy package when I was a kid. I mean, I used to love reading this. 70 years of Marvel Comics, not for resale. Yeah, man, I used to read this story all the time. So cool you got uh, She-Hulk, Mr. Fantastic, Captain America, Wasp, Human Torch, Black, uh, Suited Spidey, Thor, uh, Black Girl, Woman Spider-Man, I forgot her name, Doctor Doom, Iron Man, Professor X, Incredible Hulk, back when Marvel had the rights to all of them, it was so awesome. I need, uh, this is a pretty cool book, too, that I got. I need to look at some of my books, I got so many cool books over there. But anyway, man, Secret Wars was the best two episodes, and this is... 11th in a 12 issue limited series. I gotta get the rest of them. But, that was such a cool episode. Um, and they had a follow up series called Spider Man Unlimited. Man, that sucked. It was a good series, too. It was voiced by that one, uh, one dude. I forgot his name. And they never ended Spider Man Unlimited. They didn't release what happened when he's on that uh, planet. With uh, the when when uh, uh, the uh, high evolutionary, they, I hated that. I hated that. I watched that show when I was like 12 years old. And I was still living in Tennessee. Watched all the episodes on the internet. And then boom, N no ending. 
man, suck crap. But yeah, I love these shows. And I loved the Secret Wars episode. He teamed up with Storm, Captain America. He uh, fixed up that machine and brought back Black Cat. Uh, the Thing, Mr. Fantastic, the Invisible Woman, and the Human Torch. And Iron Man. And then he recruited the Lizard after he uh, helped him with all that. And then I forgot the, the full extent of the enemies. But that was so cool. Let's get on with this. It's no use. There are too many of them. Reaching unexpected heights with ratings, the animated series was one of the earliest Marvel properties to spawn its own sub-franchise, with merchandise ranging from action figures to video games to comics. My whole of you. I told you to start. I have two somewhere. comics from the, this series. Originally aired during the height of Fox Kids Saturday morning lineup, the show is now unsurprisingly syndicated on Disney's children's networks, drawing in nostalgic and newcomer fans of all ages. At this very moment, I've begun an operation which will exterminate that war crawling vermin forever. Spider Man is finished. I should have I need to break out on my comics. Jones. I haven't seen Jessica Jones yet. I need to break all my comics out and review all of them. As one of the two initial Netflix titles created for the MCU, and don't worry, we'll get to the other one soon, Jessica Jones was the underdog name that soared to unanticipated peaks after its premiere. Okay. It's a knockout! How cool will they be if they made a Secret the Wars movie? And flying heroine turned private detective. The show's deviant take on the superhero genre throws darker elements of psychological thriller and neo-noir into the mix. New York may be the city that never sleeps, but it sure does sleep around. Receiving widespread acclaim for its acting, mature approach, and grim subjects, Jessica Jones' name may not be as prestigious as some of her Marvel peers, but that's guaranteed to change soon thanks to this show. You are a sight to behold. Isn't she amazing? Huh? Number three, The Avengers, Earth's Mightiest Heroes. I watched this when I was a kid, too. A head count. It was pretty a good. God of Thunder, a legendary super soldier, a tech-savvy billionaire, a skilled hunter-tracker, an omnipotent idealist with, shall we say, vision, a superwoman marvel, a couple of underestimated size shifters, a master marksman, a hyper-intelligent acrobatic assassin, and, oh yeah, a Hulk. But it had more of a storyline than Avengers Assemble. But my friend, right. Debuting two years prior to the release of their first live-action film, Earth's Mightiest Heroes were already kicking ass in the new Marvel Universe for television, long before the epic confrontation with Loki and the Chitauri. Avengers, take him down! <laughs> Originally a micro-series, the show was picked up for full-length episodes and story arcs after a spike in popularity, and went on to spawn new ongoing comic titles and a replacement series. Sorry you came all the way back from the dead to chalk up another loss, Skull. Perhaps! Perhaps not! Love this show. <laughs> Number mm -hmm. two, X-Men yeah. Animated Cajun, yeah. Perhaps the only thing more <laughs> awesome than this classic series was its catchy and marvelous theme. Theme song. <laughs> Introducing the heroes to virtually every human being of the 90s, this animated series is considered the show that brought both the X-Men and Marvel to their first colossal peaks in pop culture. What's that, X-Men? No, it's... Boy meets boy. When I see it. It's a great issue, wasn't it? You read X-Men? I read X-Men. Gorgeously drawn. I have the comic of characters. the first episode of this. Whether heroes or villains. Man, I love that comic, too. Reckoned with during their time. Now, recall your strength! I also have two Spider-Man TS comics. Questionably um, Marvel's crowning jewel for television. Surpassed only by X -Men, one recent live action hit. But it's still our top pick for the Death and Rise show. of Superman. Part of 
averted feet and many a tear, in our opposing path to persevere. A minor poet for a minor obstacle. Before we flip the channel to our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Hey, stop babying me, sis. I could outrun that bill's bucket. Sorry, little brother. Yes! That was a good show. That was a really good one. Spectacular Spider-Man. Excellent oh, evolution. A little more sunshine, would you? I'm a weather witch, not a snow plow. I'm doing the best I can. Will he be following the bat? Nope. Going after rockets. It's pretty good. You can call me Star Lord. I enjoy uh, watching Gardens Number of the one, Galaxy. Daredevil. Oh, really? I have not seen a single episode of Daredevil. I've been wanting to, though, because the, the Punisher. The Netflix original series that caught streamers and Marvel fans off guard. Set in the same universe as the MCU, this new imagining of the attorney by day, crime fighter at night superhero brings a whole new meaning to the phrase, justice is blind. Put the gun down. Or I promise you, never hold anything in that hand again. But you got a Following the same dark tones and crime drama approach as Jessica Jones, Marvel's Daredevil sees the Guardian of Hell's Kitchen truly living up to the devil in his name, with adult-oriented narratives and bloodier confrontations. Who is this? I think you know. You've been asking about me. The Coskins? It was time we spoke. Featuring a star-studded cast, incredible sets, and impressive effects. The show takes the same wonders found in Marvel's comics and films and beautifully repackages them for the small screen. Do you agree with our list? What are you talking about? Why should we believe you? Which Marvel-based TV shows are your favorite? Again, I don't flirt. I just say what I want. For more super top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Please do. Okay, yeah, that was really cool. I only did that because I enjoy the Marvel animated TV shows so much. I really hope I don't get copyrighted for this, though. So I like watching a lot of their videos, but, uh... Especially their superhero and supervillain origin stories. But, uh, yeah, this is really cool. I enjoy, all, I love all the uh, series. My favorite Marvel top five got to be X Men, TAS, Spider Man, TAS. Uh, let's see. Like, animated shows X Men Evolution. Uh, Spectacular Spider-Man, and probably Avengers Assemble. I'm surprised Ultimate Spider-Man didn't get on this. However, I do kind of get sick of Ultimate Spider-Man. I love how the characters come in and all that, but I hate that it's all about... It's all around with friendship and all that crap. We don't want to hear how you constantly want such teamwork. We want to see you punch people and all that. We don't want to hear you. I understand. I lost my Uncle Ben. Kick some butt like Avengers Assemble does. You don't hear them complaining about friendship and all that. Seriously. But, uh, yeah, that was a pretty good top ten. I agree with it. However, I have not seen Daredevil yet. I really want to see it mainly because of the Punisher, and Punisher's getting his own series soon. I'll definitely be watching that, because I am a huge Punisher fan. Um, I think we'll go ahead and do something else really quick, and then I'm going to get on with, uh, I'll gonna go take a nap or something, eat some lunch. Anyway, guys, remember to like, comment, subscribe, thanks for watching. Uh, check in to watch Mojo uh, Entertainment. I asked for permission on their Facebook page. I have not gotten any word yet, though. Hopefully I don't get copyrighted for this uh, reaction. Really hope I don't, because I'm not doing a, a whole lot of their videos, just the ones I'm really interested in. Um, I did ask for permission, though. I can even show it on uh, Facebook. Let's see, I'm trying to think here. Is there anything else? 
check out the Shallows official trailer reaction I did, uh, the Killing Joe part one and two, and I did one more. I do. Uh, really want to change his channel art someday. Uh, Independence Day Resurgence movie clip. Yeah, I'm gonna go uh, pro uh, do all that stuff and all that. And thanks for watching, guys. Remember like, comment, subscribe, and uh, let's see. We're gonna get on with some sort of chats or something like that. I'm gonna do something for today, other than the reactions. Um, thanks guys for watching, stay tuned for extra content.